Let's talk about the Ethereum Holeshki testnet. In September, the Ethereum community was introduced to the Holeshki testnet. As Ethereum continues its evolution, the new testnet brings a realm of possibilities and improvements over its predecessor, Guerli. Holeshki will replace Guerli as the prime testnet for staking infrastructure and protocol development. Meanwhile, for those testing decentralized applications, smart contracts, and other EVM-related functions, Sepolia remains your go-to choice for now. But why do we need Holeshki? Well, for a multitude of reasons. Holeshki aims to increase the number of validators on the Ethereum mainnet and test how changes affect the network stability. The Ethereum Foundation's DevOps team said that they have several plans for Holeshki. They want to test the network more thoroughly by having twice as many active validators compared to the main Ethereum network. They also want to improve the way inflation works using methods from the Sepolia testnet. And they also want to start with a strong base of 1 million validators for better testing. And as you can imagine, they encourage as many teams as possible to run many of these validators, aiming for each team to handle something around 100,000 of them, ensuring that the testnet works as intended. Now, what does this mean for the Tatum and RSDK? First of all, Ethereum being a top priority chain for developers, it is essential that we have reliable support for the Holeshki testnet through our RPC nodes and the full range of functionality of our SDK. We also grant developers access to Holeshki testnet tokens, and we do it in three ways. You can get them through our faucet directory on the Tatum website. Second way is to sign up to our dashboard where you gain additional benefits alongside the faucet. And probably the coolest way, you can get the Holeshki testnet tokens directly through our SDK. This ensures that those who choose to build with Tatum will always have available Holeshki at their fingertips. What happens to Goerli? Goerli will be sunset at the end of 2023, and also its support will be discontinued by Tatum as well. The Goerli testnet has seen a marked increase in demand for Goerli Ether, primarily driven by the need to test staking setups, with each validator necessitating at least 32 Ether. Following the discontinuation of the Rinkeby testnet, a significant portion of projects transitioned to Goerli, bypassing Sepolia, and that's perhaps due to the compatibility or architectural considerations. This shift came with complications. Many faucets have been exhausted or compromised, undermining the testnet's functionality for numerous developers. And even though Guerli Ether was supposed to be free, its availability in trading channels is complicating things further. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe to our channel for more blockchain development related content. Thank you for watching.